A Course in Miracles Workbook for Students Lesson 184 The Name of God is, is My Inheritance Before we begin this lesson, let us do the prayer from A Course in Miracles. I am here only to be truly helpful. I am here to represent Him who sent me. I do not have to worry about what to say or what to do because he who sent me will direct me. I am content to be wherever he wishes, knowing he goes there with me. I will be healed as I let him teach me to heal. This beautiful lesson is a continuation from the previous lesson. Now the name of God is my inheritance. What is this? What Jesus is trying to teach here is that what is names? What are names? Names are symbols that we give by which we recognize different objects, places, people or things. And these symbols actually make the world appear different. You know, there, there are a lot of differences because we call somebody by some name or another person by another name. And then this is a way the world uses for differences. So he says, you live by symbols, you have made up names for everything you see. Each one becomes a separate entity identified by its own name. And by this you crave it out of unity. By this you designate its special attributes and set it off from other things by emphasizing space surrounding it. This space you lay between all things to which you give a different name all happenings in term of place and time, all bodies which are greeted by a name. And so what are these names? Again, he's stressing on that. They are, the world becomes a series of discrete events of things ununified, of bodies kept apart and holding bits of mind as separate awarenesses. You gave these names to them establishing perception as you wish to have perception to be and this is how actually uh, the names here they divide and so uh, what he says further is that what is your name and if you actually use this name in the sense the identify which you give to a brother brother here is any being which you meet now when you call upon a brother it is to his body that you make appeal. His true identity is hidden from you by what you believe he really is. His body makes response to what you call him, for his mind consents to take the name you give him, you give him as his own. And so, uh, in, in a way, the names that we give are the biggest ploy of the ego, you know, to create divisive, divisiveness, to create separateness so such is the teaching of the world and it is a phase of learning everyone who comes must go through but and from here begins the second part which ends with a beautiful prayer which we will do towards the end he says uh, thus uh, he says here you understand the word the name which god has given you the identity which all things share the one acknowledgement of what is true. So now uh, what is he trying to convey is that the name that we have, you know, we should see it as coming from somewhere higher, a plane higher. For everyone, you know, it should stand for the actual unity that we all are. In one of the lessons, he says that how will you learn? you know you meet somebody and whatever he speaks through you he speaks to you it is again the divine will that is speaking to uh, through him to you so when you understand your brother or even when, when you understand the next person you will understand yourself better if you blame the next person you will lose yourself and here the in that sense the name is the same and uh, we go by this that he says the uh, use all the little names and symbols which delineate the world of darkness yet accept them 
not as your reality the holy spirit uses all of them but he does not forget creation has one name one meaning and a single source which unifies all things within itself use all the names the world bestows on them but for convenience yet do not forget they share the name of god along with you because ultimately everyone has been created by god including at one place he says including somebody you consider as your enemy that person is also being sustained by god and god who is holy just god who is holy pure who is perfect he cannot create imperfection so when we see imperfection in any of his creation it is the imperfection within us that is being reflected in person place or object outside and so he says use all the names but see the perfection behind them that is they are part of the divinity of which you are god has no name and yet his name becomes the final lesson that all things are one and at this lesson does all learning end all names are unified all space is filled with truth's reflection every gap is closed and separation healed the name of god is the inheritance he gave to those who chose the teaching of the world to take the place of heaven in our practicing our purpose is to let our minds accept what god has given as the answer to the pitiful inheritance you made as fitting tributes to the son he loves so he says no one can fail who seeks the meaning of the name of god experience must come to supplement the word but first you must accept the name for all reality and realize the many names you gave its aspects have distorted what you see but have not interfered with truth at all so this is what he is trying to stress that consider all beings all names that carry as his name the one name and the prayer with the beautiful prayer he gives at the end of this chapter this particular lesson father our name is yours in it we are united with all living things and you who are their one creator what we made and call by many different names is but a shadow we have tried to cast across your own reality and we are glad and thankful we were wrong all our mistakes we give to you that we may be absolved from all effect our error seem to have and we accept the truth you gave in place of every one of them your name is our salvation and escape from what we made your name unites us in the oneness which is our inheritance and peace amen